There's hope there, you know. There's hope for Brown County, not just for this case. New hope for the cold case murder of a pregnant mother shot to death in her Jeep nearly three years ago. Good evening, everyone. There are theories and rumors about why Brittany Stikes and her unborn child are dead. The deadly attack also left Stikes' toddler with a bullet wound to her head. Ohio's Bureau of Criminal Investigations is looking into the attack on US 68, but Brittany's parents have new hope for another reason. Deborah Dixon tells us about a power shift in Brown County in a story you'll see only here on Local 12 News. Brittany would have been 25 tomorrow, and then there's Mother's Day. There's always something. It's going on three years, and it hasn't gotten any easier. I miss her every day. Some days where I just want it to stop. I want the hurt to stop, and it's never going to. Aubrey makes some of the pain go away. Brittany's 14-month-old daughter was shot in the head but survived. She lives with her father, but the Dotsons see her some weekends. And she said, my mommy's in heaven, and, and she's not here, but I know she loves me. And I said, yes, she does, Aubrey. She's my sunshine. For the Dotsons, there is hope in change. A new Brown County Sheriff taking over in January could mean a fresh look at old evidence. Sheriff Dwayne Wenninger didn't run again. Lake Winoka Police Chief Gordon Ellis won the primary and is unopposed in November. I hope the new sheriff coming in really takes a hard look at this case because there's a lot, a lot of people want answers. And there is more. The new major case commander, John Berkey, worked with Ellis in Warren County. Controversial coroner Dr. Judith Varnow didn't run again. The old coroner's back in office. Prosecutor Jessica Little didn't run either. This is where people will gather for Brittany's 25th birthday tomorrow night. This is where she was found dead in the Jeep after she ran off the road. The Dotsons say the people of Brown County want answers too. Some of them come by here to decorate the cross. I have hopes that we've got new people in there that maybe they can shine a light or shed the light and gives us our answers. And I'm hopeful that there's someone knows. Maybe with a new bunch coming in, they're willing to talk. The kind of talk that can lead to justice. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. Tomorrow's birthday gathering is at 7 o'clock at the Cross on U.S. Route 68.